Welcome back to High Tech Farmer, where I show the newest technologies of the oldest job. Today is going to be the last day of treating soybeans. We have 800 units left to go. Hopefully get all that done today. It's a good day to get it done. It's raining outside. Looks like a lot of people will be in the field next week. So we're going to be putting on our fungicide. Olivo going to be trying a new product from BioAg called Optimize. Hopefully get all that done today so we can move on to the next job. Here we go. So the way the actual treater works is I plug in how many pounds of seed we're looking to treat in one bag. And then it determines the rate at which to turn these motors to turn the chemical to apply it to the seed. The question you might be wondering is, so why, why do people treat their soybeans or why should I treat my soybeans? And the reason that I would give you is adding seed treatment to your soybeans is like adding insurance on anything you own because you're spending a lot of dollars on seed and this is helping it to stay protected against specific uh, fungi and other disease, soil prone diseases that you might be planting into this spring or any spring in the future. The fungicide is helping the seed in terms of when those fungus grow from the soil, whether that be a hot and warm summer, early spring condition or a wet spring condition, it's helping that seed grow through that point. The uh, inoculant we add to the soybeans helps the roots of the soybean plant uh, nodulate is what they call it. So a soybean plant needs nitrogen and it can create nitrogen on its own by taking nitrogen out of the air through the roots of the soybean. So the inoculation or the inoculant we're putting on the soybeans just helps that plant inoculate more on its own. When we're adding these chemicals to, to the seed, we're also using water as a carrier. That way the seed is more, has a better coat of the seed treatment. So we can use a little bit higher rate of water to get a better coating on the seed. In addition to the seed treatment that we put on, we also put on a seed lubricant, that being E007, and it's run by uh, this meter right here. So we can change it based off the rate that we want to apply for the seed. So if there's more of a wettable product that we're putting on, we're going to up the rate of our dry seed lubricant called E007. So the way our treater works is everything's bag to bag. So by that, I mean we take these 40 unit bags that have uh, 40 bags in each one of these, what we call mini bulk bags, run it up and through the treater, and then it goes back into a bag, out the door to the customer. So there's other systems that have bulk tanks outside of the sheds, and those, you just can't have as many different varieties and lot numbers of seed. So this, in terms of our operation, is just more efficient, and it's the route that we took. So that's called bag to bag, and that's the way that we treat. treating these beans today on uh, April 30th or whatever it is is because these are later maturity beans for our area so that we got two four and two three from Stein so we wanted to make sure that the seed would actually get in the ground and people went early up their maturity to an earlier maturity bean so that's why we wait to the end to treat these seed beans. To double check the weights of the beans we always run them through our calibration container here get a cup sample Scrape it off here, put it on the scale, just so we make sure that we're applying the correct, the correct rate of the chemical to the seed beans. So we do that every time we switch between hybrids and lot numbers. Whenever we switch between different lot numbers or different varieties, we always make sure we want to clean out the treater. That way there's diff not different maturing soybeans in with other maturing soybeans for customers. So the way you can think of different varieties and lot numbers is every soybean's a little bit different. If it's not the same variety and lot number, whether that be seeds per pound 
or days to maturity. So we wanna make sure we keep that consistent. That way the growers have the best experience with our seed when it comes to putting it in the ground and throughout the growing season. Now we're switching to use that optimized product we had mixed up earlier. One thing I'm noticing that I already like about it is it has a pretty low use rate. It's uh, 1.5 ounces per 100 weight of seed, so it's not gonna make the seed as wet. So I really like that as a chemical compared to what we are using right now. Well, we got the optimize here. Got all the container here. Now just gotta figure out the directions of what we gotta do. All right, so open this, shake the bladder. Bladder has been shook. Pour additive into the bladder. Now that we've got them shaken up, just gotta pour them into our our tank. That's gonna fill it, fill the line, bring it to the treater, and then I'll keep the contents and keep it on the weigh scale. That way it applies the right amount or the right rate of treatment per 100 pounds of seed. Oh, we're now on to treating the last 20 bags. So we gotta break them from these paper bags to put them in a box, to put them in a mini bulk bag. So these are the last 20 bags that we'll be treating for this year. We finished treating that last bag. So now all we gotta do is move all these beans out of this shed into the other shed. That way we have this shed wide open for equipment for this spring. So. That's going to be it for treating and for this episode of High Tech Farmer. Thanks so much everyone for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below here so you can follow along in all my future videos. And we'll see you in the next one.